What's up, YGC? This is Hoodie Brando. This is Bruce. This is Justin. This is Marcus. This is Matt. And we're here to talk about the NFC North today. So, Green Bay Packers. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, let it rip. Let's well, ride. you had the Rodgers. Let's ride. <laughs> <laughs> you had the Rodgers drama. Um, I think it was about two years of this bullshit, and he's not going to leave. Yeah. Uh, agrees on a three-year, $150 million extension. So much money. So much money. I couldn't imagine. Um, Deserves it. However, which he didn't know at the time, even though this doesn't sound like it will affect anything, his uh, favorite wide receiver, who was franchise tag at the time, and once he signed the deal to come back, we all thought, okay, Adams is going to work out. Well, he gets traded to the Las Vegas uh, Raiders for a 22-1-2. Only, only 2022 picks, the first and second round pick. He would then go on to sign a five-year, $140 million extension, la da And that ends that saga. So they're thin at wide receiver going into the offseason. They addressed that with Sammy Watkins. And uh, they all, um, also got Jaron Weed, uh, Reed from Kansas City to play defensive tackle on a pretty good defense already, especially when we get to the draft. That did lose to Darius Smith, though. He actually went to the division rival Barely in Minnesota. Barely played, though. Yeah, but when he's playing, he does make a very he's big a difference. difference. Maker right there. They lost Marquez uh, Valdez Scantling. He went over to Kansas City. Um, they all re-signed uh, Robert Tanyan. They did not draft a wide receiver in the first round for the, I want to say like 18 season in a row. They haven't. It, I, there's, I forget like the exact stat. They did get two guys from that Georgia defense, though, Quay Walker and Devontae Wyatt. What pick then, did they have in the draft? They had the 22nd the 28th pick. Hey, the 22nd. What, what receivers were available by that time? I will say any wide receiver I would have taken in the first round were probably going by then. So I get why they didn't do but it. But they could have traded up with that pick. Yeah, yeah, I would have probably traded up with those two picks, but getting Quay Walker and Devontae Wyatt, which the Packers have always done since they've signed Rodgers, they always draft defense pretty well, so they have a good defense. I mean, getting two guys from that Georgia team. Devontae Wyatt was a really good prospect. Yeah, not, not, a, bad, not a bad move. They did address a receiver in the th- uh, second round. Uh, they got Christian Watson from North Dakota State. The dude is an athlete, six foot five, and has he runs, yes. big body. He gets up, how it drops, drops, and I hate the competition thing because you can you're playing with the same equi competition, but he was playing FCS football, not FBS. He's at North Dakota State. At uh, at bare minimum, I think they get him Marquez Van, uh, Vantling. I can't. MVS replacement. Yeah. Yeah. No, 100%. But I right. think he's going to be a good receiver in this league. It's just how much is he going to be asked to do right away? Well, Rodgers usually struggles with rookie, court, or rookie wide receivers. Exactly. Well, actually, I don't know if you saw the interview. So you know how uh, Devontae Adams called uh, Derek Carr, like going from a Hall of Famer to another Hall of Famer at yeah. Smooth? Well, they were yeah. asking Rodgers about Lazard, and he literally just quoted that back to them. Now, that's a little crazy, right? That's, that's, that's actually that's funny super crazy. Alan Lazard compared to Devontae Adams. Yeah, yeah, he's like, right. yeah. He, he's he, lost his mind. If he makes he Lazard his a mind. thousand yard receiver, that'd be crazy. He might. Yeah. That you never know. He really yeah. might. Never know. Just to get at, uh, at Devontae Adams for saying that, bro. And also, um, what was I gonna say? Derek Carr, if he's a Hall of Famer, Philip Rivers is a Hall of Famer. I just want to put that out there. Okay, I agree. I think yeah, Philip. Yeah. I don't think Philip's yeah, first think ballot, so. but Philip. If Philip had a ring, he'd be first ballot. Yeah. Like I hate always including rings, but sometimes it makes a difference, especially at QB. Yep, but back to the topic. How you guys feeling about the Packers? Uh, the wide receiver is weak. Um, the receiving core is kind of weak. That six five wide receiver, it, it looked like it's like a project for them. I agree. Hopefully he is like a project to, receiver. Hopefully, mm-hmm. try to turn him into something. But the thing about a project with Aaron Rodgers, it's like, what is he like forty one right now? <laughs> it's not. Yeah, you yeah. got you. But he's putting he's up MVP not, numbers. Yeah, though, still. No, he he's is, putting up crazy right. numbers. But I know he's. You look at him like he's the project guy. Like, well, if you told me five years from now he's the best receiver in the class, it wouldn't completely shock me because of like the tools he has. But he's coming in. He's playing. He's gonna be asked to do a lot. You're not True. asked to like fill Adam's shoes fully right now. But it's going to feel that way. I mean, he's in the division where I think that he he can develop. It's yeah. not a very strong division, not a very there strong schedule. It's not a, It's not also a strong division for secondaries. True. Yeah, Vikings never had much. Mm-hmm. I mean, the Lions. 
The they Lions have potential. Decent. If Okuda comes back and plays like the third overall pick, which I would love that because I like Okuda a lot coming out. True, but I think he's missing those reps right now. Uh, 100%. Yeah. Am I the only one that feels like Aaron Rodgers kind of needs like a veteran receiver on his team? Well, Sammy's. Yeah, I don't know where this is going. <laughs> You really? But, this is yeah. a cosign so, right now. I mean, <laughs> I mean, there is a free agent. He's, he's that won't in. play till November. He's injured, but yeah. if I was the Packers, I would go for Odell Beckham Jr. But you give me Odell a try. Yeah. That, that, that yeah. Packers GM. Aaron Rodgers, and that's just me. Odell. That's just me being like humble because I want him to be a saint so bad. But yeah, Bruce the Giant fan. How do you feel about Odell playing in Green Bay? Oh man. <laughs> 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 yeah, we, we we just hope you know we, we see them in the playoffs. Man. <laughs> 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 so we might we might even run it back with Odell in the playoffs when he on the package. <laughs> That'd be kind of fun. Respectable. He's but torching y'all. Anyway, yeah, he might. <laughs> no, no, he's not. He uh-huh. better not torch us because you know what? We had the best Odell. Do you right? remember what he did? The to Rams Michael Jenkins? <laughs> didn't have the best Odell. We had the best Odell. He gave us his best year. Oh, <laughs> easily, yeah. No, I agree. He okay. definitely did. Well, well, yeah. in, the, in the Rams, you know. He gave them, you know, Odell gave him his name, but he didn't give him. And then the, he went to the LA. Nah, he pride. gave the Rams a little bit more than nah, the Browns. He, he was that hungry, Bowl, yo. He was he hungry on the Giants yeah. when yeah. he first came. Yeah. He was hungry, he was hungry when he got, but when he got to oh, LA, he was, he was fucking. He yeah. wanted a ring. Yeah, the way yeah. That he knew he had a shot and he played like it. You yeah, know the did. reason he was so hungry he, he on the Rams? Wasn't balling like <laughs> that you was mean, bro. on the Giants, but no, still he, but he was, wasn't he was number trying. one or nothing. Yeah, yeah. Baker Mayfield is I, like he probably has nightmares about Baker Mayfield. Oh, he, he probably oh, does. Yeah. He almost ruined his career. Oh, like Victor Cruz went down and then Odell he was just like. Also, real quick, Chris Carson retired. Uh, oh yeah, no, shout yeah, out to Chris yeah, Carson. Yeah. Carried a few fantasy teams. Yeah. Yes, no, hundred percent. I love him. Great, too. great fantasy yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Average, but just so good. Yeah, yeah no, hundred yeah. percent. But yeah, uh, sucks he had to retire at twenty-seven. But got out early, man. No choose CT. your health. No, yeah. Hey, always choose your health. He hurts yeah. his neck. It wouldn't be worth it. All right. So back to the Packers. You want an over under? Yes. Oh yes, yes, please. Eleven. Do you guys want their schedule? Under. Yes. Yeah, let's pull it up. All right. So. um we're going to do the Vikings first. I'm going to just say this right now. Um, I feel like they split with the Vikings. Yeah, 100%. I truly believe that. The Vikings, yeah. I, I mean, can see it. I can see it. Mm-hmm. I can see it. I can see Aaron taking a game off against them or the Vikings offense just being too much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's nah, what I'm thinking. Yeah. The Vikings offense is just too much. Okay. Um, Bears. Sweeping. Sweep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're going to fuck them up. Interesting. The Buccaneers. That's an L. Think so? Yes. Yeah. That's an L. early in the season. Yeah. I know it's early in the season. That's just that's an L. I, I mean, all right, so yeah, if Aaron, I feel like I just feel it's an L. If Julio's so healthy, then yeah, I get If it. Aaron Rodgers pulls up to Tampa Bay with his tank tucked in his jeans, looking like a Brett Favre commercial. I got, I got him winning. Nah, he's he's entering that Wrangler part of his life. <laughs> yes, he is. All right, we got um the Patriots. That's a W. Hey, Bill Belichick said that Mac Jones is improving a lot. Okay. I, I, took the Patriots. I took the Patriots to be last in the division. This is a game they got to lose in order for that to happen. Okay. Uh, the true. Giants. Which Yo, Bruce, I got you. You got me that. L. You don't mean that. I don't. Bruce, but... <laughs> you got glasses on. You smart now, bro. Don't do it. Yeah, right. make the right choice here. You know. Yeah, it. nah, pack it, son. <laughs> Thank you. Nah, he, he's not going to have me, though. The Jets. That's an L. Nah, I'm kidding. They're fucking, they're fucking bullied, beating them both. Yeah. The only way the they're Jets win both. is because they're oh coming. My. They're playing a week later after playing in London against New York. It's the True. only way. Oh, it's the only. So way. they're yeah. definitely the winning. Defensive there. line yeah. is gonna fold. Out. No, the Packers are coming from London. Who's? Packers. The Packers defensive line are gonna fold. Fold. No, fold our offense line. Oh, 100%. oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you know they got Jair. You know. Oh, Jair's yeah. coming back. Can he even play? Like Jair's that's what I'm two, saying. Second. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's not looking good for you guys. Yeah, Sterling Shepard gonna be panicking over there. Like, oh, Kadarius Damn. Tony gonna be panicking. Yo, <laughs> Tony oh, made a scared. good catch today too. I saw that. I saw that. Too. He's nice. That was a good catch. If he can say healthy, he's nice. No, nah, facts. <laughs> what do you have? Like two hundred yards? Oh, we move on. Let's keep going. <laughs> 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 that's nah, right. that's right. that's right. Two hundred yeah, yeah. five hundred in total. Uh, yeah, yeah, no yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the Commanders. So that's that's three right there. Yeah, that's that's guaranteed. Uh, that's a rough game. Just because the pass rush, I'm just like. I don't know. I feel like they can get to Rodgers. Hmm. Nah, I do. They're 
front seven is really good. Yeah. And but, it's like, what type of year are we getting from that defense? Like, last year, I thought their exactly. defense was going to be one of the best units. And it wasn't. The Do we get that this yeah. year? Uh, they're just like a team that, like, I don't know. They're just explosive. They could be explosive. Carson Wentz can have a great game. Again, they're, they, you don't follow them how to, like, manage a quarterback. Them and the Panthers. Chase Young is going to be back? I think, yeah, Young should be and definitely sweat. by them. But yeah. the Commanders are any given Sunday. I feel like they can win that's, whenever. That's a really good way to describe the Commanders this yeah. season. That's a scary team to play. It but is. I'm going to say... Uh, yeah, I'll get the Packers out. I'm going to say Packers, Packers, yeah. Because yeah. they're going to lose the week after. i say Packers win it. <laughs> and then they run into a bomb in Buffalo. In Buffalo. Oh, in Buffalo. In Buffalo. I'm in giving Buffalo. Buffalo. Buffalo's winning that. Okay, okay. Um, How about the Lions? Yeah, split. Actually, I'm split. saying split. Yeah, split. The Lions, the Lions are split. Yeah. yeah, they're not bad. Lions always they're play them bad. good. Lions, I feel like Lions. I know they split them last year because Rogers was uh, didn't play the last game, but they. It always seems like they tend to split with them. Motor how long City is um? Dang. How long is yes. Williams out for? Oh, he might be back for that game. November. This is yeah, November sixth. There's a chance. Okay. Yeah, the day before that, we might be in uh, MSG. True. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. Cowboys. Their offense might be too much. Bro. Maybe. <laughs> Packers. Maybe. I've been saying this for the past couple yeah, of years. Yeah, Packers. I feel like Cowboys are going to suck. I really feel it. Like, I feel it. I don't know why. I just feel it. I understand the feeling. You feel like, you feel like that playoff loss is just a confidence, just like. Well, it's just my. Like, it's, it's, it's not like, like Mike McCarthy. Killed them. So, like now, I get like, where you're coming from. I, I think right. it killed Dak's confidence. I don't think Dak confidence got killed, bro. I, I, think, like Dak, I, Dak, I think it Dak killed. I think it Dak is an elite confidence. average quarterback. Yeah. He's like an elite Kirk Cousins. Well, that's why I feel like Dak is... <laughs> <laughs> he's a like nice-ass Kirk he's Cousins. He's really elite at being average. <laughs> if Dak comes back down... <laughs> yeah. <yet>. He's... <laughs> Bro, it's true though. It's like he's the he puts up crazy stats, but no, hundred percent. That's about it. He's the store brand that still tastes good, bro. It's like uh, <laughs> I'm I'm trying to think. What was the Frosted Flakes like? Uh, store Yo, brand? the Shoprite yeah. one. Yo, oh my god, it's just slaps, bro. <laughs> right? It's not right? Frosted Flakes. That's what I'm saying. It's a fifty it's cents less, but yeah, and they're better. I don't know about that, bro. Those Frosted. <laughs> I'm talking about the Frosted Flakes. I ain't talking about Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott. Yeah, I'm talking I'm about talking the Frosted about Flakes too, bro. Yeah, me too. They're better. You know it. With some whole milk, bro? We, we got this a different uh, conversation. With, with any type of milk. You right, put so water in that shit. After the Cowboys, um, they got the Titans. L. Respectfully, W. they're losing that shit. Think so? Yeah, I think the Titans got that one. Okay. Wait, is that a... Uh, who's home? Thursday night, Packers home game. I'm going to oh, take Titans Packers. on that one. I'm going to take Titans. Catch them off guard. Prime time again. Yeah, hey. I'll, yeah I'll, give them, I'll give the Titans catch them off guard. And I bet you Titans come in as underdogs. 100%. They're way better when they're underdogs. You gonna bet on it? I'll bet on it. Yeah. That's that. Yeah. All right, yeah. so our first two bets of the year, I'm taking Lions week one over the Eagles. He got, uh, I think Titans gonna Titans win over the Packers in like week fucking 14 12. or 12 or some <laughs> shit. Yeah. All right. Keep going. The next, uh, they have the Fly Eagles Fly. It's gonna be a tough game. It's I in Philly. I probably gave yeah. the game to the Eagles. Yeah. Okay. I, I may still so. give it to the Eagles. Packers 10 day rest. Oh, I got Packers. Um, uh, then they have the Chicago shits, I'm, uh, Bears. Let's <laughs> go on the next one. We know how that one's going. Yeah. Okay. If anybody Rams. sees the Bears, just Rams. stop watching. Oh. Dolphins? This late in the season, I think know. the Dolphins are healthy. Nah. December 25th. Probably Rodgers versus Bridgewater. Especially. And they're in Miami. Oh, it's going to be a warm weather. Espe especially yep. if you're talking about the games that they're going to be losing. Nah, Rodgers on Christmas. Give me Rodgers. I don't know why. But. Uh, Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle are just running laps. Nah, they just run a couple Jair. Literal raps, laps. J Jair is one of the only guys I think that can, like, hang with those two. There's two of them, though. Yeah, there's two, though. Oh, yeah, you just jammed over one, bro. <laughs> so, yeah. Help. So, when one's getting jammed by Jair, <laughs> you'll know, you'll the, the, one other one's, the one's going to the crib. <laughs> you'll the other one has cramps. Um, and literally. Then they have uh, the Vikings again. Which I said they were going to split. Yeah, they're splitting Lions that. after that. I'm going to mm -hmm. say split again. So, yeah. Yeah, split the Lions, too. So how, we, how we feeling at 11? At 11? Yeah, I that's think a tricky one. Floor is 10, 9 wins. Ceiling's probably like 12, 13. Remember, they get they have three wins back to back to back with uh, the Giants, Jets, sorry, Justin, and Bruce, and uh, the Commanders. Uh, the Commanders is a sneaky one. Mm -hmm. I think they could. I could see them win. 
between that range, 10 to 12. I wouldn't bet the over. Mm-hmm. I if I had to choose, I'm picking over, but I'm not betting that. I wouldn't bet it with Rodgers. You never know. The only re- Another reason I bet over it is... This is the third year in a row they would go for that try to go for that first seed. They are ever since LaFleur has gotten there, they are really good regular season. Yeah, they are. Mm-hmm. Like they're gonna win a lot of games. Even like again, last year they looked like, oh, this was the year mm-hmm. when the Saints pounced them week one. And then they won like eight, I wanna say seven in a row. Yeah. Six in a row. All right. Some um, shit like that. I'll take I'll take the over as well. hmm I'm taking the under. How do you guys feel? What's the, what would you grade their offseason? Uh, you too? In star market? Oh, Matt, go ahead. You want me to start? Yeah, let's hear it. How would I grade their offense? They paid Rodgers. Devontae's gone. Oof. See, losing Devontae Adams hurts That's so much. That's a hit. And I'm a, big, I'm a big receiver guy, you know? I love when the team got receivers. And Alan Lazard. And nah, Sammy Watkins scares me week one. But week Not two. That. Sammy's a vet. Well, I'm like Sammy you. play. How much does Sammy play? Exactly. He always goes crazy week one, then he disappears for a little bit. <laughs> and then mm-hmm. gets injured. Take the over on the yards. Uh, for Sammy Walker? Yeah, take the over. Week one, come on. Week no, one? Week oh. one. Yeah, week yeah, one, take oh, the over. Whatever one, definitely, that, definitely. unless it's like 50, because then I'll be like, uh. If it's below 100, sell. I'll take it. Would you guys pick him up for fantasy? Hell no. Huh? Uh, Me either. Hell I've, no. I've tried it. <laughs> Me too. Uh, yeah, 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 I'm saying. <laughs> it doesn't nah. work. <laughs> it I took doesn't one. work. <laughs> no, I remember one year, like before, like this is the first year he probably started to have his injury problems where it looked like he was ascending. Mm-hmm. I drafted him and that did not go well. When he was on the Bills? Yeah. He was so good. I took. I want to say I took him like decently early too in like 2016. Yeah, because it was the year that Hop had his down year. So I had Hop like I had a bad year. I'd Hop in the first round or second round or some shit, mm-hmm. and that Sammy later on and my wide receiver core was fucked because oh, Sammy was out the whole year practically, and uh, D Hop had the worst year of his career. Mm. Damn. Yeah. All right, Matt. See, that's my, that'd be my <laughs> luck in fantasy. That shit right fucked me over. Oh, y'all yeah, know about my luck in fantasy. We ain't gonna talk it's about just that. It's awful. Yeah. Somebody this man sold me too in the playoffs, but Alvin Kamara. Yeah. Anyway, damn, they so, told me when I had so, him. <laughs> <laughs> one at a time. Uh, for the off season, I'll give him a four. Marcus, um, losing Devontae Adams, hit. Um, who was that receiver? Six five, Christian Watson. Then you have Alan Lazard, and then uh, Sammy Watkins. I'll give them a six. I'm going to give him a five. You finally clear up the Aaron Rodgers bullshit. You don't have to worry about him not showing up one day. Well, maybe, but probably not because of the money you're giving him. Uh, I wanted to trade up for a wide receiver in the draft, but they took the defense, which they took two really good picks, I think, on defense, and got Christian Watson, who I would say is probably like my wide, was like my wide receiver seven or eight in this class. And he has potential. It's through the roof. So that's why I'm going to give him a five because, like, there's nothing that they did outside of the Adams trade, even though it got you those two uh, picks to help you get Watson and uh, Wyatt or whichever one they took at uh, 22. But on the other spectrum, end of the spectrum, I think they did a pretty good job of surrounding, uh, not surrounding Rodgers on a wide receiver, but getting the line healthy, getting the defense healthy, and building it. Um, I feel like their all season is like a four. I feel like they're just the hit from Devontae Adams gone, and now they have lacking receiving core. That's pretty bad. Um, I feel like the Packers are in that danger zone of being like uh like the Colts where they're just the average team. I feel like they're kind of stuck in between the conflict of all right. Can we compete with Rodgers, or do we want to rebuild? So, I I give him an eight. So you think? Wait, you think they could be getting rid of Aaron Rodgers soon? No, no, nah, 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 I'm not saying I'm not saying get rid of Aaron Rodgers, but it's like, are you are you trying to compete for a Super Bowl? Or are you just trying to go to the playoffs? I I, I kind of get what you're saying. I, I, I kind of okay. get what you're saying because. Like, you look at how much money Rodgers wanted and what they had to give Rodgers. Mm-hmm. You did lose his best weapon. Mm-hmm. Are you the same team? Yeah. Are you going to be as good? Like, they did get balanced by San Francisco, and guess what? Besides special teams, it was that was an off that was offense on the whole offense. True. Because oh, yeah. the defense held them to ten or thirteen. Mm-hmm. Lost the game because they couldn't find the end zone. Like this is a two time two time defending MVP. 
in Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. I give him an eight. Uh, out of everyone right now, where do you guys rank Aaron Rodgers as the quarterback? Like As a quarterback? He's top, yeah. top, top five. Top, top five. three. He's not top five. Top put put in, I'll put him in top three. Yeah. I, could, I think you can yeah. make the argument. Yeah. Yeah. You signed a, a back-to-back defending MVP three mm-hmm. years. You paid him a lot of money, but... Yeah. Aaron Rodgers is going to put you in contention for it's gonna make the, yeah. the window's going to be always, even if it's just like this, the yeah. window's going to be open as long as he's there. Yeah. So Because if he pops off and he carries it into the playoffs, they can win a Super Bowl. True. So even losing Adams, I'm like, all right, as long as you got that guy, yeah. like. It's yeah. really it's, up, it's really up to um the receivers. Yeah, true. I mean, people can step Aaron up. Can they as excel? A no, yeah, can they so, excel? Yeah. There's no excuse. But, but so. I, like, I like their idea, like, all right. We got to have our Aaron Rodgers, a top three quarterback. If mm-hmm. our defense is on point, we could probably win these games because he can make these receivers probably yeah, yeah, that's better ever than since what they are. Ever since that, he got his first massive contract, that's pretty much what it's been, it feels like. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. why I'm saying it's like it's up to the receivers. You yeah. have Aaron Rodgers as your quarterback. There's no reason why you should be, you know. Mm-hmm. And Devontae yeah. Adams wasn't always Devontae Adams. True. That is true. Like, he was always solid, and then one day it was like, oh, this guy might be the best in the league. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, just having Aaron Rodgers, it's just like it feels like – Either an elite defense, or you got to have one of those quarterbacks to win a championship. And I think signing, re-signing one of those quarterbacks puts you in a a, a, a criteria of being one of the best teams in the NFC too. It's a weak NFC. Yeah. I think that was something like it's ten times better than starting Jordan Love to start the season. Yeah. Yeah, I give him eight. No, huh? Yeah. Nice. But you still don't I, know I, what I you have in Jordan Love. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a, we were we want to grade that off season. We can do that. Yeah, video. we could go back in time for that one. Yeah, I, don't know I want him to be a tight. Why they even I, picked him up? So speaking of wide receivers, the Minnesota Vikings, y'all, top three wide receiver core off rip. But yes, I agree. Love top Justin three. Jefferson. Everything about his game, I love it. Chargers fans hate him. <laughs> I don't know, I got a problem with him, but yeah. Why? Because um, offensive rookie of the year. Just everyone uh, thought Justin Jefferson should have won over Herbert. I was one of those people. Hell no, bro. Herbert, he, did he Herbert not broke set the records record? at quarterback. He Jefferson set broke records at wide receivers. Record. Yeah, at a wide receiver. I mean, I'm gonna give it to the QB because it's just a QB. Yeah, I get it. No. I get. I also felt Herbert was just. Nah, it's probably because he plays fucking quarterback. Yeah, honest. that's what you. <laughs> it, it was just. It kind of got me mad because it's like, Justin Def- Jefferson did. Everything that he could call. possibly they do that season, that he went off. Done you guys all saw it. He went and then off. For him, I'm not. I'm not gonna say he got snubbed because then again, it is Herbert Justin Herbert, and he, he does deserve it as well. But still, kind of felt that a little bit. They, yeah. they gave it to. So their big argument is they gave it to Keenan Allen. Uh, mm-hmm. What was it like twenty? Damn, Keenan Allen's been in the league for ten years. Twenty thirteen. Yeah, twenty thirteen. Mm-hmm. Um, they were like, okay, Justin Jefferson broke every single rookie receiving record, but so did Justin Herbert at the same time. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I personally think Justin Herbert deserved it. Uh, Vikings fans have beat us. Not Vikings fans. The Vikings have beat us the last two years. They got bragging rights, but there you go. Yeah, it evens out. It does. Well, yeah, but like, okay, like the whole Keenan Allen thing. It's not like there was a quarterback that was breaking records in 2013. Yeah, sure. It's not. He didn't have to compete with a fucking quarterback that year. Yeah, it was Geno Smith was your best option. <laughs> he went eight and eight. And, and Justin Jefferson's that dude. Team, I, I give he him is that. that dude. But let's hear what else they did. They cleaned house. Mike Zimmer, gone. Thank you, Rick Spielman. Go on. Thank you. Uh, they hired the Browns VP of Football Operations. Not, yeah. nope, not even attempting to pronounce that. It's Kwesi. Hey, no, it's Kwesi Odofo Mensa. <laughs> they were to hire somebody from the Browns? No, wait, the Browns have actually turned yeah, their nah. whole yeah. entire <laughs> organization around. But nah, so they, they got, they got a lot the of players, good. too, yeah. Yeah. but they just don't do nothing with them. Yeah, they recently. So yeah. uh, they signed their... Uh, Oh, uh, their VP of personnel was uh the Browns senior football advisor Ryan uh, Grigson, uh for like the ninth year in a row, whatever. Uh, offense coordinator under Sean McVay was hired. Kevin O'Connell is yeah, their new head coach. Mike uh, Patin is their offense coordinator. He was uh the Browns head coach. The year man, I think it was twenty fourteen when Menzel got drafted, but then they were decent with Hoyer, and he also I think was a. Uh, Interim head coach on the Jets at one point. He was definitely on the Jets at some point. But, yeah. They got Darius Smith, as we said earlier. Also got Jordan Hicks over from Arizona. Uh, they lost Tyler Conklin to the Jets. Pretty good tight end option. But uh, you have Irv Smith on the rise. So True. And Xavier Woods went over to Carolina. Patrick Peterson's back on a one-year deal. Um, Pat Pete. 
their draft. They got Lewis Seen with the last pick in the draft from Georgia and Andrew Booth from Clemson. I like those two picks, but my problem with the draft is that when that they traded in division and it wasn't like they got good value. They swapped firsts and seconds with Detroit. So Detroit in the first round went all the way from 32 up to 12. And then they drafted Jamison Williams, a guy you're going to have to defend now for the next 10 years, hopefully in Detroit. And they gained the 34th pick from the 46th pick. I don't like and that they, picked up the, they picked up the 66th pick in the third round, but it just seems like you let a division rival move up 20 spots and you just swap picks and then got an extra pick thrown in there in the third round. Yeah. Uh, so they beefed up their secondary, which is something they had to do a little bit. Um, they got Pat Pete back. So their biggest thing is the change from Mike Zimmer to Kevin O'Connell. Uh, Mike Zimmer, from what a whole bunch of Vikings fans said, he would just run the ball. He wouldn't really try to beat teams. They would I think the- Zimmer phoned it in last year. Yeah. I really thought, well, even – was it about Kellen Mond, who was a quarterback they took in the third round last year to uh, maybe one day uh, be the successor to Kirk Cousins if everything worked out good. But – like reporters asked him, like, why doesn't he get any playing time? And he's like, he trust me, he, he we've seen enough in practice or something like that. Like he <laughs> he phoned it and he gave up. He did not give a fuck. He probably didn't even try to win games at that point. But now they bring in O'Connell, who honestly, if you take all the head coaching signings, that might be my favorite one. Yeah, I like it a lot. Yeah, an offensive coach with those weapons, like yeah, I feel like it's sense. gonna work. I feel like it's a really good fit. That's it's like number one head coach coming up. Number one head coach coming up. Um, he was under Sean McVay, right? He, he was, was under McVay. I think people, oh. a lot of people like McDaniel, I which I do too. Um, <laughs> this one I'm most excited about. Yeah, I think Dable's there too. Dable definitely because yeah. the yeah the quarterback guru we're gonna see, but just the the pairing makes sense. Yeah, like Dable yeah, yeah. From a pairing standpoint, I really like it. Um. The Dalvin Cook situation is going to be... Yeah, well, how long is he going to be suspended? Yeah. Which that... Delvey puts, like, a tweak in, like, how I feel about them. Like, if they lose him for six games, they might lose games that they probably should win. Why, why is he suspended? Uh, uh, he got accused of domestic violence, yes, right? Yes, something yeah. serious. But it was, like, something... Effort, it, it's, like, a weird report. Like, I don't think they reported it right the first time. Because it seemed like, at first, he filed... Like, he reported... Like that he was being okay abused or whatever or something was happening like something happened to him yeah but so, now the girlfriend I think or whoever it is is spinning it on him so that's why it's like a whole ordeal still probably ordeal be like still. six games yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah. basically Come all the all yeah. the facts are right now um last year the run defense struggled as well yeah uh yeah. they're gonna have to fix that if they want to be a competitive team we well, got Hunter I think Hunter st- yeah Hunter's still there I know there's the whole contract issue and yeah. But once they put, they I think they had to pay him once June hit that nine million or whatever. So I'm sure he's gonna stay on the team now that they had to pay him that. True. Which that should be helpful if he stays healthy. He hasn't been healthy recently. And yeah. also the team you're competing with, and I think in this division is Green Bay. Yeah. Detroit's yeah. gonna be better. Yeah. Again, we'll get to Chicago. But shit, Chicago, <laughs> well, awful. Chicago to them. Chicago. No. Nope. Yeah, you guys are. Yeah, any given Sunday. Okay. Yeah. Nope. Just kidding. David That's Montgomery just... turns into the Damian Thomas. Yeah. Fucking LT in 2006. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> I, hey, you never know, bro. And, yeah. No, you are right. But I'll say also I'll say that is uh, they're competing with Green Bay and your run defense is bad. So you got both those AJ, AJ, backs? AJ, AJ Dillon, Dillon, who I think is just gonna keep getting better. And Aaron Jones, who's probably still a top ten running back. And then think yeah. about uh, Detroit Swift, who's yep, also Swift. Good. And then again with Montgomery, Yonder Montgomery Swift. has his games. Yep, and so. they have they have Khalil Herbert also along with him. Yeah, it could so be bad. It could, yeah, it could, it could be it bad. Could, it'd be real bad. Uh, yeah, I learned a about the Chargers, run, man. A bad run defense. Say, fuck you know you. about that. Uh, <laughs> so let's hear the over under. What do you got him at? Nine. Nine. Oh, uh, you guys want the schedule? Yeah, let's hear this. Yeah. Um, they have Packers. Split. split. Eagles. I got the Eagles winning that one. Where's it at? Philly. Eagles. 
Yeah, I don't know about that one. Early season, new head coach in Philly. Give me the fucking Vikings. Yeah, I, I like the Vikings. I'll take the Vikings. Vikings. Hey, you've been a, a lot of hot takes this year, bro. We're we going to look back at a lot Well, of you years. realize it's the Eagles again, right? <laughs> so, Eagles start off 0-2. All right, copy. I, they start off 0-2, and, and then there's panic, and then they, they're they fine, and then they win the division. The Lions. <laughs> That's split. probably they a split. split. Yeah. The Saints, they lose. They Wait, lose where that. are they? They're in New Orleans. Yeah, they lose. I'm going to give that to you. I'm going to give this to New Orleans. The Great Bears. game. Uh, I think they sweep the Bears sweep too. Them. Yeah, I, yeah, the Bears might go zero and six in the division. So easily, I yeah. guess. Dolphins. Give me Minnesota. Would you guys like to know where they are? Yeah, they're in Miami, I think. Yep, Miami. Dolphins. Miami. Minnesota. I'm really curious how Miami's going to do the season. That's what I I'm saying Miami, but then again, it's like... They're wild. Yeah, I like, don't know. Two is still throwing that, that football. Exactly. Or is Teddy by then? Hmm. Teddy? Teddy B. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, a bad man. Oh, I like this. Mm-hmm. The Cardinals. What week is that? Is D-Hop back? No, he's yeah. probably not. Kylie, oh. Kylie's watching film now. D-Hop probably there. Four, Four hours a week. Yeah. That's week seven. They gave this my homework. You know how homework. bad that is, though. <laughs> you know how bad you got to be at studying for them to yeah, put that shit in the contract. That shit in your <laughs> Hilarious. No facts. You know how much you need to not watch film. What for do you them think to put that he's, in? Bro, he's playing backyard football. Like he's not. He's Literally. not watching any type of film. Nothing. Um, no, I'll take. I'm gonna take Arizona because I feel like I have Minnesota winning a lot, so they're gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna get four Arizona hours of film. One. Yeah, I go Cardinals. Yeah. Commanders. I'll go, I'll go oh. Arizona. Yeah, Commanders um, after that. Yeah, the Commanders. They win that. Yeah, Vikings. Vikings win. If if the Commanders don't beat the Packers, I got them beating one or two. So okay. they got to beat one. <sighs> then they hit the boom in Buffalo. Stephon Diggs yeah. has 150 yards and two touchdowns. You about to hear the Diggs again? Diggs, Diggs. Diggs. Three touchdowns. <laughs> yeah. Or Justin Jefferson pops off that game and the Vikings win. It's one or the other. Yeah. It has to happen. It's going to be a battle. Both of them yeah. are going to take that game. It has to happen. That ha- that's the only way that game should go. Um, Cowboys? Uh, is that the Thanksgiving game? The Vikings win that. That might. No, it's not. Cowboys be beating on Thanksgiving. Sometimes. But I'm going to give the Vikings that one. Yo, is that um, uh, Buffalo game in Buffalo? Yes. Oh, we yeah. didn't have to see that. They bro. literally got both. They got green. They got the two hard teams in Buffalo. <laughs> that may be a game we got to watch. I'm about to say, Justin Jefferson that? versus yeah. Diggs, bro. bro. I, I go watch that. <sighs> that would be a crazy game. Yo, that no, is crazy. That's, a great yeah. game. That's offensive. That's lit. All right. Um, Shootout. Patriots. Uh, Vikings. Give me Vikings. Yeah, Vikings. Oh, no. Mac Jones. Accordingly, Mac Jones got better. <laughs> you want to be the one who bets on him? Go ahead. All right. Yeah. You, you, got, you got Patriots? All right, got Patriots. All right. Mm. Jets. Vikings. Too much offense. Lions. Split. Split. Colts. Who do we say? We did that the other day. <laughs> that late in the season. Yeah, fuck. Give me the Vikings. I'm all on the Vikings. I hate the Colts. The Giants. Fuck you, Colts. Vikings. 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 <laughs> it sounds like the Vikings are winning a lot. I I think so. What you guys are saying? I think so. Yeah. They could win the division. A good offense. Packers. The, the defense. Split. The defense. Split. They're working on it. If the defense just plays. They don't have Zimmer anymore. It, that's a, that's then, a uh, the Chicago Bears. To round it out, they're gonna be Vikings on Vikings. that one. Yeah, Vikings on that I'm one. I'm taking the over. Yep. I'm, just I'll, I'll I think over. I'm taking that. I over. think the minimum might be nine games. Yeah. And you're getting that, that as your number. So, yeah, they win nine. You're not going to hit over, but they got one, one more than that. And you know, Kirk Cousins uh, is the king of consistency. Like, you he's like that? Give it, yo. I think they the can win. That shit, like that. that shit is funny <laughs> as fuck. I think they can win 13 games. They can. 13? Yeah. I think yeah. they can win 13. 13. The best think, team in the NFC, you think? Possibly. I can see it. Possibly. They Just might get the schedule. one seed. Yeah, they, I can see it. They won't be the best team, but, like, it wouldn't shock me. Like, you got L.A. in a harder division. Like, Lose LA. games here and there. They also face Tampa. Then Tampa, you maybe you lose both times to the Saints. You, got the you lose to LA. You lose to Green Bay. Yeah. And I Kirk mean, Cousins is nice in the regular exactly, season. Exactly. Yeah, that's why like this team, they can win like thirteen. Like <laughs> we need that. Clip. <laughs> oh yeah, Bruce going to that. We need that. Yeah, I'm not bold enough to say Bruce. fourteen, but yeah, 
I think they can win 13, so I'm going to definitely take the over. Yeah, I, I agree. I want to see Kirk Cousins in the playoffs, bro. Hell yeah. That would be so cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. They'll get bounced. It's an easy win. Seed, though. Yeah. So grading the the Vikings, I guess I'll start this one. Um, yeah, this is so difficult. The Vikings, I'll give them a a five. I don't think they've done much, but I still think – actually, no. I think the head coaching change by itself gives them a shot. So Yeah. Especially because since of the he was under Sean McVay. Yeah. I mean, everyone under Sean McVay – Gets hired. Yeah, basically. If you but, know Sean McVay, you have a chance of getting a coaching job. So I, I, I'll give him – this is on the spot. I'll give him a seven just for firing Mike Zimmer. Okay. And we'll see what they do. I like that they hired people from the Browns organization – uh, they built a juggernaut over there besides Baker Mayfield. One <laughs> bad pick. And, yeah, I give him a seven for that. I agree. Bruce? Uh, I, give, I give the Vikings a five. I feel like they're relying... They're relying too much on the offense. And, like, like I said, your QB is Kirk Cousins. I'm not saying, you know, he's, like, like mid, but, like, he's, he's an above-average quarterback. But, like, you got to remember, quarterbacks that ran teams that their defense is kind of weak, but they got a really strong offense, those quarterbacks are, like, top five. Yeah, they carry. That That's what I'm saying. So, Kirk Cousins literally has to, like— You're saying can Kirk carry your team? Can Kirk be the top five quarterback mm-hmm. this season? I mean, yeah, so you never know with Kirk Cousins. Statistically, 13, maybe. 13 I do. Wins? Statistically, yes. I actually. feel like he's another, like, you can't elite just be average. Above average. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah no. Like, yeah, but statistically, he might put up top five numbers, but it's not like you're going to look at him like, oh, he's a top five quarterback in the league. Yeah, you no. probably statistically. You never will. Statistically, no. he can be. Yeah. I mean, with those wide receivers, yeah, too. Yeah, he has yeah. Thielen, Jefferson. You're going to put up numbers. Cook's in the KJ. backfield when he comes back. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Irv Smith. But Cook said, yeah. what, six yeah, games? Some Osborne. Wait, so well, I mean, it just seems like Irv Smith. Six, They're going to be passing the ball a lot more than yeah. that's just all it means. Like with that offense, they have a decent notable. backup running back too. Something to hand. That's kind of how like Dak is. Like, do you look at Dak as elite? But Dak puts up top five numbers. Yeah. Because of how much they throw the ball and the offense they run. Mm-hmm. I think Ham's the fullback. Is he? Yeah, yeah. he's the fullback. Yeah. They hand him the ball though. They, they, do, give, they do give him the ball. Yeah. Uh, He'll get carries. I don't know. I, I just I don't know. I don't like the I don't like the weak defense to like. I know their offense is like OP. But I don't know. It's just the quarterback. To no, me. I get what you're saying. There's a <laughs> chance with Kirk, if Kirk I, sucks and the defense sucks. I just feel this like this team is nowhere near as good as it could. I feel be. like Kirk Cousins hasn't been like a 13 win quarterback. Like, yeah, but they don't need 13. Nah, yeah, they can they can get a wild card spot with 10, 11. I about to say they 10, just 11. need 10. Yeah, mm. if they, they get, get double digit wins, they'll make it. Yeah. How's, yeah. Um, how's their uh, run defense? It was terrible. Their one last year yeah, was god awful, and then you have a good division of running backs. Um, I'm gonna give him a six and a half. I was gonna go seven, but that trade in the draft like kind of knocks it down yeah. a little bit mm. because it makes me like think like do these. Like, I know they're first year guys, so it's whatever. Like not you don't have to be perfect right away. But is this how they're gonna do? Is this how the draft process is gonna be going forward? So then like three years down the line, this is just. A flash in the past, like their offense is horrible, or they drafted horrible and they lose pieces. Then you're paying Jefferson all this money, but you have no quarterback, or you can't draft a good one. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just like concerning. Like, I actually like the hires a lot in the front office, but I like Booth too. Booth yeah, is, I like Booth. Yeah, yeah how? Yeah, I like That's the Booth. I yeah, say. I like the I like the first two picks. It's just the value and the trading and understanding it. And yes, you do. I you hit on your first two picks, I think. But it's how how they're going to conduct themselves in the future. Which is why I'm just going to give it a six and a half. And real quick, do you think they pay Justin Jefferson, or you think they they trade the pick like they did before? Do you think, I think Justin hmm. Jefferson putting up Randy Moss like numbers? Yeah. You're going to have to pay him. You have to. Yeah. You have to. I know okay. Devontae Adams got traded away, and he's arguably the best wide receiver in the mm. uh, the league. But that is a veteran wide receiver at this point. This is yeah. a guy who is like 23 years old, 24 years old. But this is year this three, is year for, three for him. Yep. He probably gets, he might get extended by yeah. this time next year. 
He probably is extended by it this time next year. Mm-hmm. It wouldn't surprise me at all. Yeah, yeah, it's a new it's a new VP too. So yeah, I think yeah. I think there's three guys that we're gonna be from that draft class that get extended within the next twelve months, and it's Burrow, Herbert, and Jefferson. Please, cool. <laughs> um, I, I like the Vikings a lot. Um, their offense is good, but as in the holes in their defense, what are they missing? Well, they. The uh, secondary got better. They still have Harrison. They mm-hmm. got Pat Pete running at safety. Yeah. They drafted uh, they got Pat Pete at safety. safety. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They have Pat Pete's been playing safety for them. Okay. Uh, he also switched in for the slot. They yeah. have Booth. Mm-hmm. He slowed down a little bit. <laughs> they still have they have Hunter still, right? Yes, yes, yeah. he's still there. They have so Hunter. that again, that can improve their rush defense. Um, I'm pretty sure they signed Jordan Hicks. Uh, mm-hmm. he's gonna be he, well, he's gonna be solid in the defense. Um, they got another edge rusher that I'm not thinking about right now, and it's gonna help them out. Okay, it's in my other notebook. I forgot the. So it doesn't. It doesn't really. Anthony Barr is gone too. Yeah, they did. He, 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 he was yeah. a one hit wonder. Yeah, he isn't. Yeah, <laughs> he's a great Madden card though. <laughs> yeah, no, hundred percent. I it, agree. It doesn't really feel like they're going to be su- such a liability when it comes to their defense. No, nah, but if they say healthy, they're always gonna be in the shootout with Green Bay. <laughs> True. Yes, that's always gonna happen. But eventually, there's gonna have to be that team that's. They're gonna one of the in division. the playoffs. They're gonna yeah. They're gonna so, run into someone. Um, for the off season grade, I'll give them. I'll give them a seven. For okay. sure. I like that. Matt, I was gonna say seven, but I'm gonna say six just because a lot of their uh, their front office hires came from the Browns, and uh, nothing really works oh. for the Browns. They, they also got Zaria Smith. That's oh, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Smith came yeah, over. That's, that's, right why, that's, that's, that's why, why I think their defense is going to definitely be improved. It just isn't improved enough. Um, I don't know if the Browns people like if when they the ones they hired, I think they came over after Dorsey left. Mm-hmm. So like they were the regime that bought in uh, Stefanski and everyone. Okay. So when the like it really started to turn around. Yeah, I was about to say that's when they turned around. Yeah, right. so the edge rushing duo is there. I'm about to say the edge rushing, their defense isn't as bad as I thought it was going to yeah. be. Andrew yeah, so, coming in, I like that. Yeah, Bruce is a little Harrison Smith, right I like now. that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a big wide receiver. No, 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 but he's fine because it is Kirk Cousins. I'll say that. True. Yeah, it is Kirk that, Cousins. That's what I'm saying. But your yeah. argument was the defense, though. He's like the greatest yeah, the average defense, quarterback yeah, ever. Yeah, but you see, you see what, what happened last year in the playoffs, right? The Bills, they had a top defense. Even. And they oh, were they played the Chiefs though. They got eight up. That yeah. was a great game. Yeah, yeah. That was even if they even if they cap right? game, right? They're they're gonna get chopped. You telling me if you want want them to go out there and play a top three quarterback like Aaron Rodgers, you know he's gonna dice them? Like it's just gonna be another day. But the thing about it is, even in that Chiefs game, like they have the offense to compete with those like they have That's the weapons on offense to yeah. compete. And you so, also gotta yeah. think about yeah, it this it's, way. Is Kirk Cousins your really your weapon to compete with? You also got to think about it this way. Yeah, you got have Aaron Rodgers, but you have average receivers. Yeah, you have Kirk Cousins, but you have elite receivers. So it's like, it's going to be a shootout. Yeah, you got Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins may be average, but you give him people who are going to... Yeah. Justin Jefferson's going to make you plays. Give Adam, Adam Thielen's yeah. going to make plays. It's going to happen. Like, yeah, there's there's dudes on that team that are going to be like, all right, Kirk, just get us the ball in the, in the <laughs> yeah. correct spot and we'll do something. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why <laughs> Kirk almost has to kind of manage the game. Yeah, because that's I I know what you're saying. Like when it comes time, mm-hmm. and you're facing Tom Brady, and Tom Brady is scoring every fucking possession, are you going to be able to answer? And I don't know. I don't think Kirk Cousins could. I don't think he can. But no. Justin Jefferson, give him like what two big. You know Justin Jefferson's gonna break two at least at, at a least. playoff game. <laughs> <laughs> that boy is different, bro. He he about to hit him with. Uh, uh, you know, do the, the Chargers, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know, moss someone, and then Thielen gonna be the red zone threat. Yeah. You know, in and out. The, the, you know, zig the zig you know, the zig route. You gonna hit him with the zig route. He gonna have a Cooper Cup like like a playoff run, bro. Like you know exactly what's gonna happen if they make the playoffs. It's gonna be like it's gonna be hellfire. It's gonna be a bloodbath. Whatever team they play offensively, Rams, yeah. Bucks, Packers, mm-hmm. yeah. But any of them. On to the team uh, the Vikings traded with on draft night. Detroit Lions. Uh, they got DJ Chalk. From uh, Jacksonville, filled that need at receiver when they lost to Marvin Jones last year. Well, two years, well, yeah, last offseason down in Jacksonville, actually. Yeah. Uh, Mike Hughes from Kansas City, the cornerback. They re- they got back Gerard Davis, who left them last season and went with the Jets. Now he's back. Uh, sucks. <laughs> uh, very little movement from a departure standpoint. It's not like they had anyone really to lose anyway. Um, 
draft came around. They got gifted the Michigan man, Aiden Hutchinson, as Jacksonville did not decide to take him. Traded up, as we said earlier, for Jameson Williams. They got jo- and uh, Josh Pascal, a defensive end from Kentucky, uh, another pick I really like. They also drafted someone from Jackson State in uh, James Houston, outside linebacker. Um, That's pretty much it. I mean, most of their moves came in the draft. It's not like they're going to sign. It's Detroit, even if they have – it's not like they're going to get these – big fucking name players unless they draft them yeah um they're over under sitting at six everyone guard your kneecaps we got motor city dan campbell he was doing burpees <laughs> at camp today yo that man if if there was ever a spirit animal that it's was a, a human being yes it's him yo he is amazing MCDC. yeah uh he they're building a culture over there and mm-hmm. i think everyone's buying into it now Last year, Jared Goff was not bad. Jared Goff was, like, actually kind of decent last year. I'm pretty sure he had about, like, 18 touchdowns, like, nine interceptions around the area, maybe 11 interceptions. But that's not a bad season for him. They're built on running the ball. They yeah. play tough. Uh, the defense got better. Aiden, so, with the draft, Aiden Hutchison was one of the safest picks, I feel like, in the draft. Second year in a row, you got two really safe picks. And I understand sometimes you want to draft, like, you don't want safe. Because, like, when you get safe, you get, like, your Leonard Williams. Yeah. And he's okay, but you're going to have to pay him a shit ton of money. But he's just okay. But, nine, but these are guys that have important positions. Nine, ten sacks, probably in a rookie season. Yeah. A good edge rusher from the – not edge rusher, good uh, run defender from the edge. Um, he's also a, a, a hometown kid mm-hmm. from the city. Like, he has something personal to play for. He's not going to have to move much. It's going to be easy transition. Williams is, like, uh, a sh- not a shot in the dark, but, like, if he – well, you just hope. Yeah, if he that, hits on offense. Yeah, that ACL doesn't affect him at all, which I don't think it will. And yeah. again, healthy wide receiver one. Yeah. Easily. He yeah. could be. Oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's, him, so? it's him, Garrett Alave. Yeah. I'm putting Garrett over Williams probably just because of an injury. That's only it. But I'm saying Williams is just a better prospect. Oh, Williams. I thought you were talking about number one for like Detroit. Oh, no. Uh, no I put DJ Amir will be. Well, yeah, Amon, that's a core isn't like their top three isn't bad. You got yeah. DJ, who DJ has blazing speed, Amon Ra, and then Jameson Williams, who also has blazing speed. Like, and you have Williams and Amon Ra for the future. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, DJ's only on a one year deal. And thing about Williams, too, is if I was, if you're going to go back a year, I'm taking him over Jalen Waddle. I think he's a better prospect yeah. than Jalen Waddle. Without the injury, 100% for me. Um,. I think who straight line speed Waddle may be a tick faster. Just one. Uh, yeah, tick. I don't know. I, I wish Jameson that. won that forty. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I play, uh, ran the forty, but but I think Jameson still plays tough. He has the Sean speed. Yeah, he's he's probably faster in game. He's in faster in game than just the straight game breaking dash. speed. And like I don't know, the culture is just. I, I like where they're going. They're they're gonna be a tough team. No one's gonna. <laughs> it's, it's it's so like crazy, man. But no one wants to play them. No, like, they're, yeah, they're gonna play yeah. hard. They're always they play hard yeah. all last season. They lost. I think I wrote it down somewhere. They lost a lot of games by like one possession. But you saw how they looked when they won, though. Yes, yeah. that shit looked like uh like um. No, I, wa- I watched the first <laughs> game. They yeah. won that shit. Was crazy. Bro, it was they lost five games by one possession last year, and they had also a tie against Pittsburgh. I mean, they had, do have Anthony Lynn as an assistant coach, and if you know anything, Chargers fans, Anthony Lynn loses games by one possession all the time. He uh, actually loves it. Yeah, no, facts. Why he coaches? He's Actually, a great running back thing coach, though. Give him that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm. I love this team. I gotta hear the schedule real quick, but they're probably the safest bet for the to over. double. No, not for the over, but to double their win total. How many wins did they have last year? They had, they had three, so they just need six. Yeah, I mean, and I don't think it's crazy. I know the over under sitting at six, but six isn't a crazy. And I like doubling yeah. your wins. Like only a handful of teams can do that. And once you get to even like the sixth spot, doubling your wins is like, you need twelve wins. Like that doesn't. There's only a handful of teams that even win twelve games in a season. So a team that sits at three wins, it's very possible. Let's hear okay. their schedule. Um, well, looking at their schedule, their schedule doesn't look too crazy, but um, as of week one, they have the Eagles. Yeah. It could be a surprise, like, trap game, but... Detroit. I, I know you are going to go with Detroit. Yeah. I'm betting that one, too. Detroit's winning that game. We talked about this Ooh. last time. Um, Commanders. Sneaky game. Detroit's 2-0. Oh, really? Wow. It goes downhill from here. 
Uh, but the Commanders are I, such I, a I've trap done, team. I've done that schedule like three times, and it just it, I'm like, you know what? They're gonna go two and zero, and then uh, nope. Detroit it's starts it. off one and one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Vikings. Super uh, L. Just splitting for me. Yeah, they're uh, gonna split that. Yeah. So let's see. Okay. Yeah, they Seahawks. probably do split. Uh, they beat them. Detroit starts off Detroit the three that. and two, maybe. <laughs> or, or not three and two. Uh, three and one. Three and one, yeah. You also give, me got the, a, give me a try on that one. Definitely. Detroit's give a better team. Yeah. If they get Jimmy, so. though, Seattle. Yeah, right really? now without Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, right now without Jimmy, I'm going to say Detroit. Really? Wait, Wait, you, Jimmy? Like, Jimmy changes it that much for you guys? Jimmy's a, uh, he's another average quarterback. I think Jimmy's but he's average. below average. No, better than golf, though. Yeah. With no Jameson, too. You got to remember, it's the beginning better of the season. Better than golf? And he has Metcalf. Yes, he's better in golf. Mm-hmm. Jimmy's made it to Super Bowl before. Who's his offense? Oh, actually, player? golf made it to Super Bowl. Uh, plays? Jimmy meant more to that team than golf did. Sean McVay was the whole entire team. Oh, yeah. I mean, they ran the ball the whole time, and Jimmy didn't make the yeah. the bad pass, but I, I like Jimmy. Hmm. He wins a lot. Yeah, I put Jimmy solid. above I feel like he's solid. Yeah. But I don't think it's a huge, like... It's not a big gap. It might not swing it for me. All right, so um, next we have New England. Uh, I don't think they're ready yet for New England. Yep. No, that'll mm. be, that game will be hyped up whether they're 0 and 5 or 3 and 2 or whatever we are at this point. 3 and 1 for me, 3 and 2 now. But they're going to lose three that two. game. Cowboys? Cowboys. Okay. Yeah. Give me the boys. Dolphins. I think the run starts going down. Yeah, Dolphins. Packers. 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 The Bears. I think the I got lines. I got beating the Bears. They're gonna split that series probably. Middle that's is, where. Yeah. yeah. They're gonna split that. Bears got. Chicago's get gonna get couple, one over. Bro. Like that's when like, yeah. like Chicago's gonna be bad, but Chicago's still gonna win probably like three games, maybe four. Yeah, but, but we'll say so. They'll probably end up splitting that. Middle of season, Dan Campbell's like, we got a shot at the playoffs. Yeah, that is possible too. <laughs> like, I, I just wouldn't shock me if they won a shit ton of games that they shouldn't. But All right, four and five. Um, and Giants. Giants. Yeah, Giants. no. That's in New York, right? Lions. Uh, yes, it is. Got Lions? Give me the Giants on that oh, one. Yeah. Giants. Giants? Nice. Um, Bills. <laughs> Bills. 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 Maybe it's close, though. Yeah, but not ready for that, that game yet. Yeah, they're, they're, not, they're not ready for that, man. They're gonna get the Giants beat them? Oh, so they're the close to the Bills? Yo, yo this is a it. good game, bro. The Bills may take them lightly. You never I know. can see that, though. Playing it down to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it happened. They did it to Jacksonville it last all the time. So. Uh, Jaguars. Close game. I got Jags out. T Law. Jags. Lions. Yeah, you got the Lions like positive right now, dog. They got. I'm yeah, at five wins. Over. I'm at five wins for them. I really might. I really. <laughs> uh, the Vikings. Nate. Vikings. They got split. Yeah, yeah. split. Vikings. Nice. Jets. 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 That's a close game. Panthers. Lines. Wait, hold on, hold on. Panthers. No, no, go go back. What were you gonna say? Uh, Jets, Jets lines. Jets. Yeah, it could be. It could be <laughs> this lines. A, this is a close know. game. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's a game. Uh, Just like I'm going to that game. Yeah, it's possible win. Gotta go. That's at MetLife. <laughs> yeah, it's at MetLife. I'm going to that oh, in the Bears game. Hundred percent. What were you thinking when you went to the Titans Jets? Oh, I said from when Bruce like talked to me about it like <laughs> months. But I'm like, we're winning that game. I respect the confidence. I like that. Didn't think we'd be 0 3 going in, to be honest, but <laughs> I still, I was like, we're going to win this fucking game. Um, next, we have uh, the Bears. They're Split. sweeping them. Yeah. yeah. Sweep. And sweeping uh, them. it's yeah. number six right there for the Lions for me. Who's next? For the last team, uh, <laughs> Packers. Green Bay still has to play for something. They're going to lose. Yeah, they're yeah. the ones. Lions are losing that. That's it. So you're going to six? I got them at six. That's wins. still, that's, that's exactly right the number. Added, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would. They have to win those games. All right. So over under six. They will. They're winning that. Under. Even though I got them winning a lot. I, 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 I don't see them sweeping the Bears and beating both New York teams. So under. Um, oh, go ahead. Uh, My bad. I'll go. Um, under. If this was five and a half or five even. Yeah. Over. You're asking Detroit to win seven games. Yeah, it's possible. It is You're possible. asking them to go seven and ten. I don't think this team under. goes seven and ten. I got under. I think they go six and eleven. I don't know why. I just see like that record and I'm like, 
Yeah, they can go six and eleven. Just double makes sense. their win total. Man, like, it makes they just sense go to crazy me. this season. I don't you get like twelve. Seven, <laughs> you need them to win seven games. A team that last year lost five games by one possession. So are they are they gonna repeat that, even though that doesn't usually happen, or are they just now gonna fall out of games? It can go the other way too. True. So it's just a stretch for seven games. So I'm gonna take the under. Again, if it was five, five and a half, I would say they win six and I would take the over, but Marcus. Um, I'll, I'll take I'll take the over on this one, just because I feel like they could win those games. A lot of those mm-hmm. games, if you're losing by w- one possession, it's like. But to what I mean, obviously, because they're sca- like yeah, think so about no, their they schedule. They do have the Jags. They do have the Jets and Giants twice. Those yeah, are, so if the, yeah, I I, I could, get it. I could see it happening. They have the Bears twice. Yeah, I'm going to just go out on a limb and just say uh, I'll take the over. It really depends on – I know we're t- we talked about the culture and all that with MCDC, but yeah. how good of a coach is he really? Like, he was getting praise for shit last year that, like, Brandon Staley and Robert Sala would get crucified for. True. Like, when they did it, it was a huge problem, but when MCDC did it, it was like, oh, like – culture all this like he's building a a team he's building a culture but you have these other rookie head coaches that are getting ridiculed for it like i get everyone likes mcdc and he's his character and shit but maybe sometimes like we look too much into it i think that um staley and uh and sala they get looked at as like they were the the first thing they were the two top they were yeah yeah, a lot of the two top candidates that got hired i would say last year they were analytical dudes they were uh, also in LA and New York and you got MCDC in Detroit. Yeah. It's a small it's smaller, it's more lovable. Like yeah, people so, are gonna root for the Lions next year. And that dude knows how to talk too, man. Yeah. Like no, he does. Yeah. Go Lions. <laughs> We're gonna bite the kneecaps off. <laughs> <laughs> he got emotional during that. See? No, yeah. like he no, like he definitely people follow him. Yeah. Like he will have that. It's just I think it was the Thanksgiving last year. He called two timeouts in a row, got a delay a game for doing it. Like there was just times like I think they play in Chicago, so like it was like him and Nagy were going back and forth on who could fuck up more. Yeah. Which okay, Nagy was a former coach of the year and has been a coach for three years, so it's not like he has an excuse at all. And you're a rookie, so I kind of get it, but you're still making stupid ass fucking mistakes. And can you fix it? True. Matt. So last year, what they won three games? You said they won three, and they're a possession away from winning five more. Yes, and they tied the game too. As eight games right there, and they only got better. That's give me the I'm over saying. every day, every That's what I'm day. Saying. Okay, they give might it, do give it. Give it to me. I like it. I'll no, bet I that like tomorrow. It. I like it. I'll bet that tomorrow. We we needed we needed a little Don't division on that, that one because that that is a tough one because it could uh, easily be this. seven, but I just so, seven's too much. Be, so before we move on to our next team, right? When when we do get to the Bears, we we gotta discuss what two or three games they're gonna win because I bet I'm betting that the Bears at least gonna sneak one on the Lions. Like that's I feel like I, I, I feel think like they the split. Jaguars are gonna come <laughs> I don't got the Bears winning shit. <laughs> 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 that's right. I got bro, bro, he's he's like, they, they suck. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think he's wild for saying thing. that, bro. Nah, they are one in wow. fifteen. That team is ass. You really think like one in sixteen. <laughs> if if Justin Fields ascends, it's like if Justin Fields turns into a a, a decent quarterback oh, under God. with no weapons, no anything, like he just becomes that dude. Maybe they won like three games, maybe two. If you tell me they gotta <laughs> sneak one Jeez. against the Jags, nah. If they gotta sneak that, yeah, mm-hmm. nah. Their ass. I mean, I've been I don't want to look at their schedule to be honest. Right, like you want to look at the team when when wide receiver. Uniform's ugly too. <laughs> wide receiver three is a uh, um, old boy from the the uh, Nikhil Harry. Yeah, when your wide receiver three is a tight end basically. Yeah, <laughs> like everyone's a five two. Yeah, yeah. A five yeah. two. That, that's that's your team, Bruce. You're a wide receiver, dude. That's what they you, got. Do you want a rundown? I think oh we need to do a rundown of this. I off give season. the the um. Oh yeah, the Lions facts, eight. Yeah. Uh, Wait, I like what the, we got with the Lions. I'm, I'm based off the draft. Um. Yeah, I I, I get what I mean. They they did improve, but I still don't think they're like there. What can they do more? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Um, I'm saying between the six and the seven. Because I do like what they did in the draft. They did. You, you finessed your own uh, division, well, mm-hmm. teams in your division with trades. <laughs> so I like that. Finesse. It's just, and it's not 100% their fault. 
Well, it is because they've been bad, and but they're also just stuck in Detroit. <laughs> so they didn't sign like any really marquee free agents. True. Which Nobody I get. Wants to go there. I, yeah, I get teams don't always no, I sign. Go there. Yeah, like yeah. I get like not every team signs yeah, guys, a marquee let's go free to agent, but it's not even like they made crazy <laughs> moves. And you were a, a bad team bro. last year. You're gonna go to Detroit, look at uh, abandoned car lots. Exactly. Like yeah. yeah, bro. Abandoned no, buildings. I'm looking at a pile of dirt. It's yeah. trash, yeah. bro. But the only cool but thing I'm gonna give them a seven because they have improved and. Five games by one possession, that does mean something, so <laughs> fuck it. First day out. <laughs> Whole lot of first day outs as soon as you land. Marcus? Um, a mile. <laughs> yeah. oh, <God. laughs> There's really nothing in Detroit. <laughs> nothing. Yeah. It's not um, cloudy every day. And it's I'll, I'll, give them, I'll give them a seven. Uh, I'm rooting for them. Smell like mad pollution. <laughs> They got the pistons. <laughs> Smell like poverty, cuz. Blood in my water. <laughs> just, bro, it's bad, though. Name that movie, though. Pistons suck. Wait, wait, say this quote again. Smell like poverty, cuz. Name that movie. You gonna make me do this on camera, too? Damn, uh, you gonna... put him on the spot. What's the movie? I don't mean no All right, movie. shut up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it smelled like poverty, cuz. You don't know the movie. Uh, you know the movie? Nah. Not well, name, who's in the, name the lead. Um... Uh, the 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 Wayne brothers the uh, the Wayne brothers yeah is it um smell like poverty uh, give me the give me the name of the movie yeah it's um the the scary movie oh scary movie when, oh, his, his, when his when his cousin comes he's like it smells like poverty for the cousin. ghost. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah <it's clicking. laughs> oh, That's one. Damn. I don't know about that. <laughs> cool. Damn, I did that. I didn't. All right, copy. Yeah. Who's next, bro? But we uh, haven't, watched, we haven't <laughs> watched Stream since, there. like, 2000. Like, nah, I'm going to be real with the movie quote soon, but go ahead. Who's next? <laughs> nah. Is it me? Terrifying. Yeah. Oh, for the off-season grade? Yeah, yeah, we got my grade. Um, Mark, would you give him? Uh, I give him a seven. Seven? Copy. Yeah. I'd probably give him the same a seven, just because I like the draft. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I like the receiver room. I know not the biggest names, but I like him. Even Josh Reynolds. <laughs> Get that, get that gun out. No, I like the run. I liked when they got Reynolds oh, last year. Yeah, me too. Right, Stole him right from the Titans. Chicago. Oh. Justin, pull my finger. Uh, shit, shit, Chicago. For you, hit three the fans that they got out hit there. Hit the ball. Oh, Bruce, I guess hit the ball. Is for you. <laughs> Jesus. Bruce waited so long, bro. He's been ready. Hit All one right. more time. One more. And another one. There you go. We're gonna like <laughs> fucking idiots when they're good next year. <laughs> yeah, imagine they're gonna go fucking like ten and seven. Dude, we're that's how that's our rise to fame right there. I don't bro. care. Yeah, because yeah, they're gonna fucking idiots. suck. But anyway, all right, they cleaned house. Smart decisions. Got rid of Matt Nagy and Ryan Pace, the guys who drafted uh, Mitch Trubisky over Patrick Mahomes and Deshaun Watson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Colts defense coordinator Matt Eberflus, who has been uh, getting interviews for a few years now. They hired him as a uh, head coach. And they hired Ryan Poles, the chief, Chiefs executive director of player personnel, as their new general manager. Their big free agent signing this year was defensive tackle Larry Ogunjobi from Cincinnati. To, and they signed him to a three-year deal, but he failed his physical, and that got voided. <laughs> <laughs> so, Nothing like, like the Chicago Bears. <laughs> they can't <laughs> <wait>. <laughs> Nothing like Chicago Bears football, bro. Yeah. You gotta love it. You're failing physical when you're in the league, bro. On their biggest signings? Bro, like, when you're in the league, you're failing physical. Come on, like, now. This is really what we're doing? Yeah. <laughs> now <laughs> Ogunjobi is on the Steelers <laughs> on a one-year deal. And watch him go nut next year. And he passed that physical, didn't he? <laughs> He did pass that he physical. Know, he didn't want no, he's def no, he's definitely tight because he lost a lot of money because he was like a $7 million deal or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> Rip. All right, next. Um, they acquired Ryan Griffin from the Jets, who fucking sucks yes, at tight end. Yes, he does. <laughs> they acquired Brian Pringle from Kansas City, who isn't a bad player, but he's, like but he's their wide, wide receiver, receiver three or four. Depends if Nikhil Harry beats him out or not. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> he might have found him. Brian Pringle is actually kind of fast. He's a good special team guy. Bro, nah, I, yeah. think, I think we should honestly go to a, a Bears tryout. We might make the team. We might. Bro, we might make the team. I'm not a lot of players. I swear. They signed people for I, I could pass the physical. Yeah. No, no, I, I, could really could. I really could. What are they going to have? They, Marcus at safety. Oh, safety? Bruce at running back. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yo, they signed someone from all our teams, it looks like. Uh, Justin Jones. Yeah, decent. He's not good in the run game. Defe yeah, I was about to say defensive tackle. Yep. 
you know, a position that is used a lot to defend the run was on the worst run defense to, uh, in the league last year or something like that. Yeah. And uh, doesn't stay healthy. Either. Trevor Simeon hmm. to uh, back up good old uh, Justin Fields. They also got uh, Dakota Dozier. Dozier. How the fuck you say that? The I Minnesota like guard. Simeon. He's better than Ian Book. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. Ian Book is great at what he does. Um, <laughs> Dakota is on IR, though, currently. They lost Allen Robinson, went over to the Rams. They don't have a good offensive line. No. They don't have a good They anything. lost James Daniel. Yes. Daniels. That was their best offensive lineman. He walked. Mm -hmm. They <laughs> lost Hakeem Grant. Yep. He will probably be wide receiver two right now on this team. Yep. This is so went sad. Went to Cleveland. Uh, they lost Hakeem Hicks, went over to Tampa. <laughs> And they also is... traded Nick Foles and away to Indianapolis. My dog, Khalil Mack. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was getting yeah. to that. What is that? There's a big move in here somewhere. This is one of the saddest off-seasons oh, I've ever heard in my life. Oh, I didn't even write it down for them because there was so much other bullshit. Yeah, they traded Khalil Mack away. For a second. For a second and like a sixth, right? <laughs> yep. For a second and a sixth. I understand he's declining, but... But Khalil yeah, Mack, but I guess, yeah, like, so they got a second for Mack. They're about to be rebuilding. For How much? So what they give up for Mack? Three first? For like 10 years. <laughs> they're draft. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, go ahead. They do not have a first round pick because they <laughs> traded up for Justin Fields. Fire. Last what did they pick season. anyone else? Go ahead. They picked Kyler Gordon, cornerback from Washington. Mm -hmm. Not a terrible pick at all. Jaquan Brisker from Penn State at 48 in the second round. Uh, 48th pick in the second round. That's pretty good value for him. Yes. Their first receiver, first offensive weapon they took was Velas Jones Jr. from Tennessee. Mm. He's an older mm -hmm. draft pick. He's gonna be pro ready. <laughs> How old they is hope. He? I think he's like twenty five. Twenty five. I, I don't what know. Maybe twenty four. Yeah, that? I know he's older. Maybe he's he's like, like he might be years in the league. Right? I'm gonna look that up right now because <laughs> I really he got I got like wanna... three more years. Basically. Them boys are ass, bro. Let me like, check out his so yeah. bad. This, bro, I, I don't was, know. I was yeah, Matt. he's twenty five. Twenty five. He's twenty five. Yeah, he turned twenty five right before the draft. Bro, right was, after the draft. I was telling Matt, I was like, bro, they're about to be rebuilding for like seven years. Years. Yeah. Well, like, okay. Here's years. my thing. They're still getting worse somehow. Yeah, no, here's my thing. It's impressive. Okay, they did get, they got Riley Reed from Cincinnati, as we said earlier. Yep. They right. signed him to a one-year $10 million deal, which is a pretty hefty deal Riley for Reed. a guy who signed on the day <laughs> training camp started. I don't so, know what they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, right heard, right heard, in the same category heard, as Storm Norton. I heard uh, <laughs> Riley Reed. And it's yeah. Just, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Should no, come right. on the podcast, please. Please. <laughs> the <laughs> coach. The coach. Hey, bro, we, we don't discriminate any Plug professions talk. here. There we go. <laughs> but, yeah, um, <laughs> it's not Riley Reef. <laughs> yes. It's a hefty deal. He's probably going to end up starting now. Uh, he's going to get a lot, of the, uh, he, a lot of load management. <laughs> I was going to say that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'll say that. Yeah, I'll say that. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of load. <laughs> no way, bro. <laughs> No way. Oh. <sighs> okay. I love it. <laughs> but okay, now in terms of right this now. team. <laughs> hey, he has to block holes, bro. Come on now. It's, it's a difficult job. <laughs> Take on grown ass man. Multiple holes. <laughs> he never he, he just has <laughs> so many defensive linemen. <laughs> yes. Big, big like black six, people. Five. He has to take so <laughs> <laughs> he has to take so many grown men in just one room. It's just a, <laughs> one in each hand. Oh my gosh, man! It's a difficult job. He might have yeah, two guys. It's not for everyone. Him. Yep. <laughs> it's not for everyone. <laughs> Double team. Right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go back. Let's go back to the bench. Let's go. Let's go oh back. my god! <laughs> Number get, seventy defense. Get your cameras out, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. okay. Yep. Back on top. <laughs> no, no step, bro. So <laughs> <Feel> good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Second year quarterback Justin Fields. You traded up last year to get him. Yep. Here's what they did good. You fired Matt Nagy. Yes. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Quick, it. I think that's kind of that's it. a long list. Um. I get there's two sides of the ball. Yes. I get you need to improve your defense. That just lost, lost Khalil Mack. But I guess that you I get that you need secondary help because you've lost Kyle Fuller a few years ago. You you don't have the same secondary you did in 2018. You traded up. You, but you need weapons for your young quarterback. They didn't improve on offense, I think, at any position. 
The tight end is about the same. Ryan Griffin doesn't move that needle. Running back's good. Um, David Montgomery, Khalil Herbert. That's a good tandem right there. I like Darnell Mooney, but I don't know if he's a high-end one. Truly. How he are you supposed be. to know? Uh, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. Almost, you, it's not like he's going to get all the coverage now yeah. because your mm-hmm. second option is either Nikhil Harry, Brian Pringle, or Vilas Jones Jr. No, they couldn't. I got don't, like I yeah. don't. So bums. can those guys play? Like yeah. I like Brian Pringle. Can he play Ed as a as a number two? No. Their best bet is their players. I like Cole Komet even, but still, one yeah. tight end. A chip on the shoulder. Someone goes down. Yeah. You're kind of fucked. You say chip on the shoulder. That's the best bet of playing good. Like this is a practice like, squad. They have a whole bunch of dudes on their team. Bro, this is this also is a high school varsity team. Yeah, no, but also there. this is Valley Central football. Playing in the either, league, either I think we you might come be the into best. this season and you just quit and just be like, "Yeah, no, we, we just gonna get smacked all season." Or, you're me, but if you're telling me you're on the Bears right like, now yo, and you think like, you're winning, no, nah, no, nah. or the come in and be like, "Yo, like they're taking us for a joke." Like mm-hmm. we gotta actually come out and play like what the Dolphins did. Like, they're gonna still like. <laughs> I don't think the Bears are gonna fight, but you know it could be so two either. ways. Of, two ways like I just said they yeah. could come uh-huh. out with a fighting dog mentality like how the Dolphins were mm-hmm. a couple years ago yeah. or mm-hmm. they could just give up I don't think we gotta see how the coach is no, yeah. Brian Flores was yeah they're gonna come out that. like that and still get spanked and <laughs> smashed yeah yeah so, yeah they're gonna come out with that chip on their shoulder and like lose boys, by 20 yeah, they're taking yeah. advantage still. of us well, they're gonna get, they're they gonna gonna get those three wins get blown out by like 40 they're gonna struggle for those three wins oh they're gonna fight for those three wins speaking of wins over under what do we got that's six and a half. Oh, here's my huh? thing with the draft. What? Yeah, six what? and a half. That's the, let's just get the that. Lions? Let's get out of the way. That's the easiest under we have right now, right? Six and a half. Six and, and a half. Lions? Yeah, six and a half. Yeah, I want to band together all the money we got. Six and a half. Six and a half. Okay, let's. We're all in agreement that it's under, right? Yeah. yeah. It's under. Okay, so we don't have to argue about that. Under. Now back to their draft. Again, I get defense. They needed weapons, as I said earlier. Their first pick, Rondell Robinson who's on the Giants, who plays a lot like Tony, and I actually like him as, a, like, a gadget player. Yeah. Still on the board. John Metchie the third. I know he's not going to play next year now because he's been diagnosed, I think, with uh, maybe lymphoma. Get better. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to him again. Yeah. Hope he gets better. But, again, he'll be back next year, and I think he's a better option than Vilas Jones, who I know you got later for value purposes, but you needed weapons. And um, at, their, at 48, they had Tyquan Thornton. Patriots picked up George Pickens, who fell way too far. Alec Pierce was still there, and Sky Moore will still be. It was still there also. Again, I get it. You need a defense, but those are all really good options for your second-year quarterback. When you look at every other team, the Jets, the Jags, the Patriots, even the Texans, the 49ers are the 49ers already. But out of all the second-year quarterbacks. Justin Fields is in by far the worst scenario. Easily. He has no weapons compared to especially the other guys. Yeah, and his value is way lower than it was before, too, because no one knows how good he's going to be. No, I like he's I question no mark still. Yeah. He's a huge he's a huge question mark and And we're not gonna see anything around. this year. Bruce exactly. Thing, you can't I love I love the guy. I love the guy, man. Bruce thing about getting a band together to put against the, the, the Bears right now. Nah, nah, no, no, I just I just hope, you know, Justin Fields. You know, he wanted him so bad. He's fast. I, I, I like it Tony. It was the Giants pick, they too. Should, they should have. T- All right. We don't, hold on. Fucking. But a team. I want to compare this team. To who? They remind me of the Jets in 2019. Why? Jets in 2019? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they When Darnold, second year. Yes. I, they, yeah. They're not going to win seven games like that team. But, they shouldn't. No, they shouldn't at they all. They shouldn't. I like Mooney and Montgomery, mm-hmm. but I also liked Anderson and Jameson Crowder and Le'Veon Bell. Mm-hmm. Um, take away Mooney and Montgomery. One of them go down. Yeah, this can get bad. It can get bad it's really fast. Bad I, like Khalil Her- I like Khalil Herbert, but now you're just down to Herbert. Or you lose Mooney. Now you're really fucked at the pass-catching position. Yeah, because yeah. who do you have? You have Colt Komet. And you have Pringle, Harry, or with a bad Jones. offensive line, yep. with a terrible offensive line. That's that's what it really reminds me of. The and Jets in 2019. There was plays last year. Horrid offensive line. Justin Fields looked like he was trying, like he was trying to will that team to wins, and he couldn't get anything going. No, exactly. So I'm just gonna feel bad. He's probably terrified right now. Oh step yeah. Step on the football field. 
grown Yo, men are just free rushing at him. Giants, His man. offensive line is just stepping out of the way. Do, do y'all want to talk about their, you their schedule or not no. really? No. <laughs> no. We, we no, no. The o line? Yeah, I said O-line. Tevin Jenkins at left tackle. Rookie. I like them coming out. Yeah, he's good. But he's had injury histories. Left guard, Cody Whitehair. Not bad. Their center is Lucas Patrick. Their right guard is really white. Two right. first names. <laughs> and their right tackle was Larry Bo- Borum. But it's probably Riley Reef now. What, what was the right guard again? Uh... Fuck you. Really right. <laughs> said the right guard is really white. Yeah, yeah really white. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really, he probably, I don't even know what the fuck he is. He said the right guard is really white. <laughs> yeah, really white. Like, yeah, I heard that. Hang on a second. Willie Wright is the right guard. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Do you even know what the fuck that is? No, I all. don't. Uh, um, we can keep I know way about, too much about football. I don't know what the fuck that is. We keep talking about Riley Reef. We can do bit. that. <laughs> yeah, the, that's the highlight of the line. Yeah. It's the highlight of the team. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, Justin Fields right, too. Stop playing with dead. Him. Just- <laughs> All right. <laughs> What's your grade? <sighs> can we go negative? Is that a, yeah. is that a possibility? Yeah, yeah, why not? Uh, I why give not? them. I'm gonna break the scale in the negative. Oh, uh, one firing Matt Nagy. One positive. There you go. I gave him a two. I don't know why, but I gave him a two. I give. I gave him a two. They cleared house. Need to. I'm gonna say uh, yeah, obviously. and they have cap space for next year. It's just gonna be really bad. Yeah. For yeah. this season. I know yeah. a Bears fan. He's aged. Yeah. Terribly this last year. He looks <laughs> 10 times older. Well, you think as a Bear fan, look what every other team with second year quarterbacks, as we said, is doing. Look at every other team. And then look at, look at, yeah, look at every other team, but specifically teams that are on the same, like, like teams with second year quarterbacks. They're in the same boat. Look what they all did. And look what your favorite fucking team did for your quarterback, who I potentially could have been the second pick. That you got at number ten and was the fourth one quarterback off the board. He did as much as me as a GM. Yep. In Madden. Uh yeah. And but Madden, I'm building that team around him. Actually, the Bears fan, he may actually watch this. That's my man. He comes in with an Eddie Jackson jersey every day. We do talk about the Bears. Yeah. Hey, that's the Eddie highlight. Jackson. Right there. Eddie mm-hmm. Jackson. I forgot about him. Eddie Jackson. Man, he gets lost Eddie, in that yeah. defense. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna he, be bad. He, he was tough. At least he, he got tough. that jersey. Yeah, that was he got something that, to look a at. Calm jersey. But Marcus, what you got? Um, for the off season rating, yeah, yeah, for all right, be, that's, that's all. all right, it's the Bears. I'm gonna be generous. Uh, their off season rating. Damn, ass. That's what you it? got. That's, that's, it? that's it. That's it, man. Oh, here talking about off season rating one and two, like bro. <laughs> they fired yeah. it. Dude. We not we like not a, giving him a pat on the back for right? no one or two, bro. Yeah, it's a. Uh, uh, the in, participation in trophies, years of bro. <laughs> <behind it. laughs> they tried, bro. What happens to your son? They keep trying. trying a lot. <laughs> they not doing nothing. Bro. Sorry, it's over. It's clips. He, this, they, 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 are, they sucked last year and got worse. No, they did. They did get worse. <laughs> like, how sad. So how does that work? That is so work? bad. Hey, I give them the benefit of the doubt. They didn't do nothing. Like, they, they mm-hmm. probably would have been better off doing nothing. They, they, they would have been yeah. better off doing nothing. Yeah. What's your what's your grade for him? I'll give him a negative two. There we go. That's fine. Jeez, so That's fine. Oh, right. Yes so and no. Do they have the first pick next year? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Between them and the Seahawks? I don't think they do. You think Seahawks are a better team? I don't know. I don't think they have the first pick, but they're going to have probably a top The Seahawks have pick. weapons. Who gets the first pick? I don't know who gets the first pick. We got to make a video about that. You don't think that. so? Bears. They could get it. The Bears. Yeah, the, Bears. the Seahawks definitely They get the first two picks for second. They might tank them, actually. I wouldn't even say tank on purpose. Okay, well, they're here's just, the, here's the follow-up. <laughs> they're going to try. Yeah, they're, they have the first pick next year. What do they do with it? Um, that means they they use, they use probably won one, two games to get QB. You think they go nah. Young or Stroud? Yeah, but nah. Young is the yeah. be- best prospect. What do you do? You're going to get a wide receiver? Line. They have to go O-line. They have to. First pick. They have to get a out of that or a left Bro, tackle. no yeah, way. Get a left tackle. Yeah, yeah. move on from Justin Fields. You know what's Fields. crazy? If they get the first pick and they don't take a QB, you probably go defense. Because yeah. you have Will Anderson. It's true. hard to it's true. It's hard to pass up that. Yeah. But I so division standings quick? Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, we can wrap up. All right. Sounds good. You can go first. Packers, Vikings, Lions, Bears. Same. Vikings. There it is. Packers. Lions. A heaping pile of shit. Bears. Uh, I'm a sur- I'm surrounded by crazy people right now, bro. All right, hey, keep going. I got um, Vikings, Green Bay, 
Lions. That, that's a perfect list to me. Same, Same. Vikings, yeah. Packers, Lions. Vikings got this fucking division. An absolute yeah. shit. That bad man's gonna bears. have something to say yeah. about it. Vikings got yeah. this division. He can have something to say in a second. YGC, follow the socials, come back again, and this is YGC. We out. Peace. Peace. <laughs>